What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today, I'd like to talk about Warzone and how there's been a lot of issues in Warzone since the integration of Black Ops Cold War. How it's pretty much been talked about on Charlie Intel, Twitter, and Reddit for the last several weeks. It's just been a big issue. I'm not a big fan of Battle Royale. You guys all know that. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of it. I'd rather play multiplayer. Uh, I've never been a big fan of Battle Royale when it comes to Fortnite, Warzone, H1Z1, PUBG. I just never really enjoy them. Just not my cup of tea. I'd rather play multiplayer style games and th that's just kind of what I like but I do understand why a lot of people like Battle Royale it's really good for content at times I wish I did enjoy it more because it does give you an option to have more content if you stream you know it gives you a good option to have something to stream before we get into too much more detail of course guys if you're not subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are a subscriber make sure you have notifications turned on if you enjoy the content smash the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now, like I said, there's just a lot of issues with Warzone as of late. Uh, you can go pretty much on any platform like Charlie Intel, uh, Twitter, Reddit, and over the last couple of weeks, you're going to see pretty much the same kind of conversations. People talking about all the game breaking glitches and bugs. And like I said, of course, this was a lot to do with the integration of the game kind of between Warzone, uh, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops Cold War. I was kind of curious how this is going to work. You know, you're working on a Modern Warfare engine, but at the same time, you're integrating uh, weapons from Warzone into that. Now, I would assume if Infinity Ward and Treyarch are the only two developers we have going forward with Call of Duty, eventually they're going to be able to make this work out. I would, I would guess, I would assume that that would probably be a thing that could happen. Now, if you throw Sledgehammer or someone else into the mix, again, you have three different uh, companies developing uh, a Call of Duty title. I'm not sure how long, if they will ever get it integrated correctly to where they can go from title to title, year to year, and just kind of throw Warzone back in the fold. Now, there's a lot of people out there saying Warzone's going to die before long or it's already dying. I'm not on board with that. It might eventually. Everything kind of comes to an end. All games kind of change over time and you know turn into something different. But as of right now, if you watch Twitch, if you watch streaming on YouTube, you will notice Warzone is always at the top of the list, if not on the top, uh, just about on every single, you know, kind of viewing platform where you can watch those kind of live streams and things like that. But at the same time, uh, if you just don't talk about hackers and cheaters and, you know, on platforms right now when it comes to PC and console and you just look at game breaking glitches, there's things like the reload glitch that have been introduced in the last couple of weeks, the juggernaut glitch, which has been a issue in Black Ops, uh, not Black Ops, but in Warzone several times. The invisible glitch, uh, the uh, glitch where you can see enemies through walls, and the infinite respawn glitch on Rebirth Island. Now, some of these I'm sure have been fixed. Uh, I have seen people talk about some of these, you know, for the last several weeks on all different kinds of platforms, like I said, media outlets. And that's just crazy, in my opinion, to think about, considering you don't have to be able to cheat or hack or anything to get any of these glitches. These are just glitches in games. So these are things that are happening in game without you having to cheat. So that's pretty nuts so on top of that if you add of course in you know kind of the cheaters people that cheat on pc people that use uh chronos on, on on consoles don't think it's just pc people cheating you know you people use chronos max on console whether it be on warzone or multiplayer and i'm not a, a fan of anybody that cheats i think you should be banned i think you should be kicked out of the game because you're in there ruining other people's experience now people are going to do it and there's no stopping them unless you add some type of anti-cheat and I think it's very crazy. <laughs> it's just a very wild thought that as big a company as Activision is, as much money as Activision makes, that there's no really good anti-cheat system in Warzone. I mean, there's companies that are a lot smaller than Activision that have anti-cheat systems in their online games. Now, while they may not be perfect, people can still get around them. There's still a lot of ways that you can cheat without, you know, even with these anti-cheat systems, you can get around them. But at the same time, it makes it for a better gaming experience for the most part because they're stopping a lot of the, you know, just just people that are just blatantly cheating all the time. Like I said, there's still ways to get around it. But these companies are a lot smaller that are, you know, having these anti-cheat systems where Activision just does not, as much money as they make. That is one thing that they're really going to have to get kind of a grasp on. I've always said that that will be the one thing, in my opinion, that does ruin uh, just kind of just spoils all the fun for Warzone and probably does kill it off eventually to where nobody plays it, and that would be the cheaters. Like I said, you don't have to just be on PC to cheat. There's tons of people now that are using Cronus Max on, on uh, you know, console to be able to cheat. And at the same time, I mean, I understand why they're doing it, I guess, because they said, you know, if they're going to be on PC and cheat, I'm just going to be on console and cheat. But neither one of them need to be in the game, in my opinion. 
and I'm not sure how they're ever going to figure this out. And a lot of these people use these same kind of things in multiplayer, which is very, very annoying. But the good thing about multiplayer, in my opinion, is at least if there's a cheater in the lobby, I can back out, you know, find another match really quickly. Uh, you know, it's not like I'm in war zone where I have dropped in and took a lot of time, 20, 30 minutes to get, you know, ready for a fight, that kind of thing, move from area to area. And then a cheater kills me. Uh, that, that, just, just, that just drives me nuts. It gets me very frustrated. Also, you know, you get in war zone, all these glitches and bugs going on. It's just not a fun experience for me. But even if, of course, all that was not the case, I would still not be a fan of Battle Royale. I like to have things that are fast play, uh, fast paced. I like respawn style game modes because I can get back in and out of fights really quickly. Uh, when it comes to Warzone, sometimes it's kind of lackluster and boring, in my opinion. You know, uh, unless you're really good, some people can drop in and get tons of kills, and that's fine. Uh, maybe I'm just not good at it, <laughs> whatever the case may be. But I'm just not, you know, a big fan of Battle Royale. But I do feel really bad for anyone that is a big fan, any, any of these streamers, YouTubers, people that do their content here on YouTube with uh, Warzone because of all the issues. Not only do you have to deal with people cheating on all platforms, you also have to deal with these game breaking bugs that are just pretty much like cheats. Like I said, things where you have an invisibility glitch, that's just a glitch in game. It's not nothing that it's not anything that, you know, you have to do, you know, nothing you have to download, no cheat code that you have to input into your PC or anything like that. It's just a bug in game. And I know this can be very, very frustrating. Also, I know the weapon kind of integration is not going as planned. I know the DMR-14 right now is extremely overpowered in Warzone. A lot of people are calling it for it to be nerfed. I'm assuming it will be. But at the same time, I think they're going to continue to have these issues. Like I said, with the integration of all these games kind of in Warzone, considering you're still running on the Modern Warfare engine. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do in the future, considering they said they want to do this year in and year out. It's going to depend on how many different uh, you know developers they have making their titles. Because uh, it's going to take a while, I think, to get this to run smoothly, just overall, year in and year out. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Do you still play Warzone? Have you ever been a fan of Warzone? Are you like me? You're more of a multiplayer fan. You don't really care for Warzone. I'm kind of curious to see what everybody says. Because there's a lot of people out there that play Warzone. And I understand the why they do. It's free. It's enjoyable. It's fun. A lot of people enjoy that kind of gameplay. Like I said, it's not my thing. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Uh, is it frustrating to play for you considering not only do you have to deal with cheaters and hackers, you don't really have any kind of anti-cheat, but you also have to deal with these game-breaking bugs and glitches, like I said, that don't even require any kind of cheat codes. They're just in the game just because of all the changes that have been made. And I'm sure uh, Treyarch's going to do their best to get the game run a lot more smoothly over time. I think a lot of people would like to see Blackout too, honestly, uh, considering... You know, a lot of people are big fans of Blackout. I think people would like to see that instead of just kind of integrating this into Warzone. I know some people are getting tired of that one Verdansk map. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And like I said, guys, if you enjoyed the content, smash the like button. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.